The poleman Arthur Pick in car number 28 misses the start, causing confusion in the pack. Nick Yololi, who started from second place on the grid, is leading as they head into the first lap. There's an accident in the first corner between Alexander Rossi and Kevin Corius. The yellow flag is out and the safety car takes to the track. Meanwhile, the rain again starts to manifest itself here in Aragon. There's plenty of overtaking action as Ponce Racing's Jan Cunha comes to blows with Vittorio Girelli of Comtech Racing. Bianchi attacks Carlos Hurtas, who's currently running second, and misses his braking. But he'll come back a second time, and this time will be the good one. There are plenty of interesting moves in the race. The battle between Stevens and Freins is exceptional as Freins works his way up towards the leading pack. It's a spectacular comeback for the rookie Freins, who makes it back to fourth place overall. Freins takes the fastest lap of the race, nearly three seconds faster than the times put in here last year, confirming the amazing performance of this year's model as Yolani continues to prance out in the lead. In the closing stages of the race, Bianchi's almost back up with the leader, Nick Yolani, but Bianchi has a few engine problems and has to be content with second place. It's the first win in the series for the young British driver Nick Yololi running with Comtech Racing. We had a good start, managed to build a gap. Um, Bianchi was thus at the end so we need to work on that but otherwise you know it's good to be able to be consistent and uh, bring home the first win. Nick Yololi wins this first Formula Renault 3.5 race of the season. French driver Jules Bianchi is second and Denmark's Kevin Magnussen third. Race two in Formula Renault 3.5 starts just as badly as the first one for poleman Arthur Pick, who loses the lead in the early stages to the Danish driver Martin Sorensen. Meanwhile, also like on the first day, there's a tangle in the first corner, eliminating the winner of the first race, Nick Yololi, amongst others. Unlike Saturday's first corner incident, though, the American driver Alexander Rossi avoids impact and moves up five places in the pack. For second place, the impressive rookie Robin Frins takes the upper hand against Sam Bird. Just behind, Arthur Pick is fighting a tooth and nail battle with Kevin Corius. <laughs> Leader Martin Sorensen falls victim to bad luck as he comes into mechanical problems. Pick continues his comeback and manages to get past Richie Stanaway from New Zealand. He then goes on to overtake Rossi. Jules Bianchi, who started from the pit lane, is making ground in the pack, but he won't be a serious contender in this race. The other French driver, Arthur Pick, finally takes third place away from Kevin Corius as the finish draws near. Robin Friens takes the checkered flag and will take the top spot on the championship table for his very first racing weekend in the category. Friens is congratulated by Sam Bird, who comes across the line in second position. It's Friens, Bird and Pick first, second and third in this second race of the series this year. I had a good start position P3. It was much better than yesterday P12 for some problems. Um, I had a, not a good start, fell back to P4, then I waited a couple of laps to get all settled, then I pushed, started pushing, overtook Sam, little luck that uh, Sorensen had an issue, I don't know what he was, a bit sad because he be at the same pace, I want to see that battle because um, now, anyway, uh, I won the race and I have to thank the team uh, a lot because the car was brilliant. Friends goes to the top of the class with plenty of reason to celebrate.